Guys, I just quit my job. Straighten the camera. There we go. All right, guys, uh, this video is going to be short and sweet. It's not going to be much of a like vlog or tutorial or anything like that. It's going to be more of like an update video. Just to tell you guys like what I'm up to and like what's happened these last few weeks. Uh, a little bit of backstory. Uh, next to like Brand Panier, next to my own little business, I used to work or still work two days a week in the gym as like, a fitness instructor, all around fitness instructor. I used to like, um, I keep saying used to. I do group lessons um, twice a week on the Sunday and Thursday night. Been doing that for a while. Enjoy it. I really do like it. I like the vibe. I like me. Me colleagues and you know just to be in and around fitness just like brought a smile to my face as cheesy as that may sound but I've noticed these last few weeks that Brampanier is like expanding it's growing I'm getting in more clients and it's like I've got more work to do there's more stuff to do so uh, there's also more stress involved I'm also trying to do YouTube you know keep my personal brand up also do like online fitness coaching on the side low-key not a major but I do that on the side as well I've got you know a girlfriend and I try and see my mates at least once uh, once a, like once a week on, on the weekend so uh, a lot of like different factors and uh, money wise like there wasn't really any point to being a fitness instructor in the gym because of brand Panier. like brand Panier was like a full-time income and now it's always become like time wise you know it's taken up uh, like a lot of my time as well so it's like a full-time job so i actually decided to quit my job in as a fitness instructor in the gym and become like a full-time entrepreneur as even though i hate that word but uh, just like do my own business full-time basically and I was thinking about it for a while, and I thought like, I kept postponing it. It was like a sort of like fear of, uh, like once you sort of like drop that safety net of having at least uh, that income as an instructor, then I'm sort of like only dependent on Brand Panier. And obviously, like worst case scenario, in you, you're playing it in your head, thinking, okay, if I lose so many clients, then I'm, you know, I'm not earning enough money and stuff like that. But um, like my contract was running out and like the owner of the gym actually said like uh, you know we'll do like contract renewals and stuff like that would you like to sign yours already even though like you've still got a few uh, you've got like three four weeks left and i hesitated so he sort of already f like he sort of knew what was what was happening he knows what brand and all that we talk about it quite often he, he's quite intrigued to to see like how it how it all develops like with the online world like Obviously, he's a bit older, so it's all new to him. But he does like to. He's interested in like what's going on and how it can help his business as well. Um, came home, had to go think about it. Talked to my mum and dad, and then I went back in and said, "I'm quitting my job." The sort of understand, like, do you understand it? Like the it was one of them. Like obviously, the the sad to see me go, but like do you understand why? And they were really cool. I was really chilled. You know, they said like. Like it's understandable. We 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 like we know we understand why you're doing it, what you're doing, and sad to see you leave. But yeah, that's uh, that's what happened basically. So I quit my job, now doing brand Panier full time. Um, I actually need to go in a minute, so I have to like wrap up this little clip here because I'm actually looking at office space. Uh, that's because brand Panier is based in my bedroom, so like all the work I do is in my bedroom, and I'm struggling to be as productive as I should be in my bedroom because like I don't know. I think it's because there's not enough people around me. I'm, I'm sort of like um, you know the feeling where you think like oh I can get away with watching like, a little YouTube video every now and again, whereas when there's people around you, you sort of feel like no, okay, I need to. You know, in case uh, people start thinking, like, well, what's he doing? He's just watching videos. Uh, they're all random rant. But yeah, basically, um, not as productive anymore in my own bedroom. Looking at office space. Have to go now. Should I give you a bit more information about that? I'll tell you guys, like, after after the meeting. Yeah, so I'm actually at, like, uh, like, it's like an old jail. I think it's been on my channel before. And uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to see if, I'm going to ask the owner if I can just sit here, like, one day a week because uh, I'm like, I'm just not as productive anymore in the house, especially with warm weather like this. Um, I just need some place to sit and just get stuff done and then 
uh, if I can just be able to, if it's possible for me to just sit there for one day a week then that's great. Uh, not like properly buying or renting office space, I'm just gonna like, I know the owner, I'm just gonna see if it's possible for me to just sit there, if not I'll have to find like, other option. It's funny because um, it's like it's my dad's office, it's not my office. And I was just asking like for prices, like how much is it like, to, to rent like part of the office and stuff like that. And people were actually thinking that I wanted to rent like office space, which uh, I'm not going to do. But I'm going to see if I can get like an agreement going with the owner to see if I can uh, just sit there like one day a week or something like that. Right, and uh, in terms of the, the other Facebook pages, what, what are we doing with that? Productive little few hours, got a lot of work done. Got my bike now, uh, gonna bike home now, get something to eat, and then try and structure this video a little bit more so there's a bit more structure to it than there is now because I think it's a bit of a messy video. So uh, I'll try and explain some more later on in the house. Back home again, like halfway through this video, I thought you know what, I could turn this into like a little mini vlog, but it didn't really turn out as good as it should have been. Uh, the two like major takeaway points or information points of this video is that I um, quit my job, looking at office space, not renting or hiring or buying or anything like that in terms of office space. I've just got like an agreement with the with the owner um, that I can just sit there like once a week or twice a week or whatever like that. Like they've just got like an empty desk. I can sit there. You know, no one's using it. I'm not like in anyone's way or anything like that. Uh, they're quite interesting what I'm doing. Like they're always asking questions like, so it doesn't matter where where you sit and uh, so you're the one that's responsible for all the annoying little pop ups we get and stuff like that. Like it's it's funny to explain what I'm doing, but um, yeah, just gonna sit there maybe two three times a week or maybe just once a week even depending on how productive I am in the house. Um, other than that, there's not really much to say. Hope you enjoyed this video, or hope like you got something out of it at the very least, or maybe a bit of inspiration or something like that. Let me know in the comments down below like what kind of videos you want to see from my channel next, or if you got any questions, like if you got questions about digital marketing, uh, social media marketing, anything like that, I can make it into a video. So uh, yeah, let me know like any questions you've got, and if you don't want to ask me them like uh, directly in the comments, then you can also send me a DM on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram as well because I am very active on the. Gram. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Gotta do what I gotta do.